This is packaged. This came in the mail today. And when it showed up, I was like, ah, uh, is that, did that come from Colombia? This is from Falcam. Falcam sent this box. You guys, you guys have now seen, you've now seen a bunch of quick release videos on this chip. First, we talked about the quick release tripod with the F38 on top and how how I then put the plate on this guy, so that's quick release, and then my camera strap and how that's quick release. And then I made a whole video on, on like my quick release camera rig, which is which is this guy, the A7S III in the Falcam cage that has F22s on the side, so these handles can be here, and then push a button, slide it down, and the handle comes off. If I wanna take this handle off, I could take that handle off. If I want the monitor just mounted straight to the cage without the handle, I could just press that button and slide that off, press that button, slide that off, slide this onto there, crank that up into place, and now, now I am just down to the monitor mount on the, everything, everything on this cage is quick release. Even even that base plate on the, it has F22 and F38, so I could take this tripod with F38 top and this just uh, clicks in there. I am loving this F38, F22, F50 quick release system. And a couple weeks back, I was up in Las Vegas for NAB and, and these guys were there. Ulanzi and Falcam were there. I got to go chat with the guys and see, see kind of all the toys in this system. And they said to me, hey, if you ever want anything or you need anything, um, just let us know. So I, I did. I sent over a, a big list of, of things from their website that I just thought, I don't know, that looks cool. And then, and then this arrived. So I don't know if they sent everything I asked for, but it's a pretty big box. Slice, oh my God, it's like four layers of tape. Oh, wow. Before we dive into what is inside of this box, let me tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Epidemic Sound. Because if you guys are anything like me and you are you are making content of any kind, whether that be independent videos, you're making YouTube content, you're on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or Twi Twitter's doing videos now too. I just saw a Twitter long form video. Whatever platform you are on and you are making content, you need to license the music that you use within that content. And for the entire time that I have been on YouTube, I've used Epidemic Sound for $9 a month. You get access to over 30,000 music tracks and and a ton of sound effects. I don't know how many sound effects, but it's a lot. And the best part about Epidemic Sound, and I, I really cannot stress this enough, is their recommendation engine and their search tool. So, so the more songs that you download from Epidemic Sound, the more you go in there and search around and find songs that you like and you download those songs, it, it learns that and then it begins recommending songs to you. Basically, for most of these videos that I make, I just log into the very home page of Epidemic Sound and right there, there's a for you spot with like six or eight tracks ready to go. And then there's like six more tracks under that. Basically from those lists, just those top two lists, I almost always find a song that works great for, for my current project. Again, based on songs that I've downloaded in the past. If you want incredibly high quality music for your videos, shoot to the first thing in the description, go over to Epidemic Sound, totally free trial. Just the music that you've you've downloaded during the free trial and you've actually posted online, it, it can stay online forever. So basically a risk-free free trial. Shoot down there and thank you again to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring and supporting this video. Okay, into, into this ridiculous box. Look how many, look how many of these there are in here. <laughs> yes! Ah! <laughs> Falcam sends everything in these little, these little plastic cases. Oh yes, oh. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, so this little bit here is one of their F22 bits. On this side is quarter 20, and on this side is F22. So I could take, I could take this, I could mount it to like a camera or or another arm or something. I could mount this piece to anything that is quarter 20, and now whatever I mount this to can quickly and easily, and then when I wanna get it off, I just press that button and it it slides out. So it's just like a, a male, a male female adapter set. Oh, oh, I think those are what, if they are what I think they are, 
Oh, we might try something really crazy today. First, first, let's get all these these white boxes open. Open this guy. What? Oh, oh, we'll talk about this in a minute. Hang on. Uh, what's in this guy? Another one here. I need, I need a bunch of these. This is what I realized. I said, hey, if if you guys could send over a bunch of just like the plates, I need a bunch of the little plate, bunch of the little plates to screw into cameras, and then a bunch of these that I could put places that I can now mount my cameras. Um, so far we've got two of each. Let's keep going. Oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna put that with this and we will talk about that bit later. This is dope right here. This is the arm that it came, like one of them came with this kit, like the whole kit that I got for my camera, but it is a double ball arm. You just kind of get these in whatever position you want and then you can lock it down, but it is F22 on top and F22 on bottom. Quick release, man, I'm telling you. What? This is great. Another one of those. We got we got multiple of the magic arms. Whoa. Apparently they had a lot of these laying around. They sent three of them. And that is all very cool, but I'm very excited what is in what is in these four right here. The first one, the first one we'll talk about is this guy right here. This is GoPro feet or GoPro adapter. So mount this to your action camera. And then that goes to an F22 plate. So now my action cameras can also be quick release. So let's get my GoPro set up on this thing. Wow, that's a hefty thumb screw. It's like a aluminum thumb screw, like one piece, one piece of aluminum. From a single piece of aluminum. Oh, that is glorious. That is so good. Check that out. And quick release F22 plate on the bottom. So now I can take my GoPro and mount it into anything that is F22. So anywhere that I put one of these F22 mounts, I can now take my camera and I can just slide it in there. It is locked in place, not going anywhere. Push the button and I can slide it out. This, oh my gosh. Where has this been all my life? That is great. Uh, what might be even better than this though, and it's it's the problem that I always talk about with not having ball heads is check check this one out. GoPro feet top, a F22 slash F38 bottom, so it can go into F22 or F38 rail systems. And and it has a friction ball. Hang on, let's. All right, I'm gonna show a couple of things here. So look at this piece here. This is like a GoPro feet bit that is mounted to an F22 female side. So anywhere that you already have one of these GoPro mounts, this piece now can slide in and lock in place. And now you can take your GoPro and you can slide it in to that system. And now it's quick release. And because of the ball head, you can you could tilt your GoPro to, to different angles. You could say, I want it up a little bit or I want it over or your thing is crooked. So you're like, I'm gonna straighten out my shot a little bit like that. And because, because this one is F22 and F38, I can push the button, quick release it out of here, grab something that is F38. And if I turn it the other way and go the wide way, and now it just locks into the F38 system. Crap, this is clever. I'm realizing there's a lot in this box. Maybe maybe this video should be two parts. Like all of this stuff should be one part and then what's in there should be should be the second part. Should should I wait for tomorrow to make another video on what's in there?